I've been working with a client for over six months on various technology applications, mostly Google, but uh, also Facebook and Apple products and home theaters, that sort of thing. And this one little tip he cites over and over again as the most useful tip that I gave him and the one that he uses every day. And it involves using the bookmarks bar in Chrome. Now, if you look here, I've got an, an instance of Chrome up with a bunch of bookmarks that I've just dragged in to the bookmarks bar. And to, and to do that, you can go to any web page. So I'll go to the Onion. Hopefully nothing too offensive comes up. And once you get to that site, you can just grab that little icon in the URL and drag it in. And there, that's a bookmark in your bookmarks bar. Now, of course, you need to go to view and make sure that always show bookmarks bar is checked. So if you don't see your bookmark bar, make sure that that's checked under the view menu. So that's great, except this isn't a very efficient use of space. I've got a lot of bookmarks here that are hidden because I have so many bookmarks. So what I do is get rid of the text. You'll see that each bookmark has its own little icon. Those are called favicons. I think that's how they're pronounced. And they're easily identifiable. I know that this is the YouTube favicon. I know that's the New York Times. I know that's the Onion. And I know this is The Verge. This is my blog. You get it. So I don't need this text, which is taking up a lot of real estate on my bookmarks bar. So what you can just do is right click it, click edit, and then delete the title and then save. And there, now we just have the icon. So for The Onion, I'm going to right click or on a Mac uh, laptop, just use two fingers to click, edit, delete, save. You see how I'm eliminating wasteful space by deleting the text on icons that I can identify just by the favicon. Edit, delete, save. So on my primary instance of Chrome, you see I have all these icons for some various sites that I visit frequently. Now some of them do not have favicons and so for those I create short acronyms that allow me to identify what those are but I shorten all of them so I have more space on my bookmarks bar. 